I'm really excited about these next two weeks, uh, especially today. Um, it's pumpkin patch season. <laughs> it's, it's great. Uh, it's one of those few nostalgic memories that I have from being this big and still thinking like I was this big. Um, I remember the first time I went to the pumpkin patch. Um, I got this little green pumpkin because I wanted it to be a Ninja Turtle pumpkin. <laughs> and it was, it was great. Um, my friends are now at the age where they have kids that they're taking to the pumpkin patch. And a friend of mine writes this really funny blog and she talked about how she took her son uh, to the pumpkin patch the other day and like all the moms want to do, they're scouting out the good pumpkins for their kids to bring home. And she, you know, she's here and all the kids are walking down this aisle trying to figure out the pumpkin and she's picked the good pumpkin. You know the good pumpkin, it's perfect, it's round, it doesn't, there are no spots, there are no blemishes. And then she sees her son waving his hand a little bit further down, so she walks down to the pumpkin that he's picked, and it's the ugliest pumpkin ever. <laughs> it's got like, this big curve in the middle, and she, she's like, well, Jeff, wouldn't you like the pumpkin that's over here? It's perfect, it's big, it's round, it's not too heavy for you to carry, It'll, we can do all sorts of cool things with it. He says, no, Mom, I like this pumpkin right here. He wanted to make, he wanted his pumpkin to be decorated like a wave. So like a wave crashing. Yeah, so the weird cut out in the middle would have been fine for him. So often in life, we expect ourselves to be the perfect pumpkin. But we're not. That's okay, because God will take us with our misshapen selves and do something great with us. He has something planned for even our imperfections. This morning, we celebrate a God who can find beauty in all things, in every blemish, in every wrinkle, in every spot. If we're a little bit rounder or a little bit taller, it doesn't matter. God has found worth in you. And this morning, he is calling you to find worth in yourself so that you can do what he has for you to do. This morning, get over your spots, get over your wrinkles, get over your blemishes, accept them as an opportunity for God to do something great with you. 